why I'm asking, number one. Number two is a very short chunk that describes what happened, and then number three is the full filing with the complete article. We'll take number two. I think that's going to be perfect for mobile. Uh, in addition, we'll be adding in a couple, like I said, we'll, right now we have no editorial positions, but we are actively hiring right now for those editorial positions to come on in Q3 and to start uh, to start shaping the editorial voice of, of the mobile news network. Great. Thank you. So I, uh, I'm Dylan Boyd from PRY. I have uh, the pleasure of following after the Zinio and Viv team that you guys just got to see the magazine. Um, we've been tasked with coming up with what the web representation is online, uh, the tie-in is online of the digital magazine versus the website. What content was in the magazine versus what content was on the website, how the interaction happens, how we pull things forward, how we drive traffic, how we increase awareness, and how we actually make people like you that you saw for the very first time today in the consumer market understand what it is. Um, that's going to be the, the biggest challenge for us. We've had the, I've had the fortune of looking at digital magazines for about two years, not actually realizing I was using a Zinio reader at that point in time, some of the ones I read. Uh, but now we've really been immersed in it and learning more and more. And I think all of us over the coming six to 12 months will see them showing up everywhere out there. I wanted to start uh, in showing you, this is, I apologize to anyone from them in the room. Um, what we've learned at top level in the last few months uh, in, web, in web publishing for online and how we're going to use digital magazines. We've learned your web strategy is not your digital publication strategy. And for those of you that think they're one and the same, uh, challenge me, talk to me about it, because I, I've learned more than I, I probably anticipate learning uh, in this project. Um, the creation of content and tools allow the conversation to continue, but it's not your content, it's not your full content. It's what they were showing you today, it's such a rich, immersive, interactive experience that's portable, it's usable, it's saveable. Um, and you know, someone said blogs will trump it. Well, blogs are just one part of an outreach strategy. Uh, they're not the saviors to the entire world out there. Um, but this site will include blog content, it will include community, it will include a lot of things that you see, that you see distributed across many different sites and someone's trying to launch a new widget or a new application social media site or a new digital publication, but no one's bringing them all together. Uh, so that's our challenge, and we have 51 days left to uh, meet that challenge. Um, couldn't get a good screenshot because we took the old site down. When we first took the project on, I went the way back machine to try to grab it. Uh, but we had a lot of things showing up uh, that really didn't sell what it was, what the value was. It was just a big cover shot. <coughs> Search engine optimization was near non-existent. Uh, these are all these things in coming up with what an online strategy for digital publication should take into consideration. Uh, you know, the mobile strategy is something that's incredibly important to start thinking about as well. For the uh, and competing messaging. We were really confused on what was going on here. We immediately moved to just clean up the look. Um, we needed you know, a few months to actually get everything together, but we wanted to put a little triage in place. The biggest thing we wanted to do was Show the magazine when someone gets there. And this is interactive on this slide, so you can't see some of the things that are happening. But we wanted to show and communicate what a digital magazine entails. We wanted to make sure you knew it wasn't a quote unquote web experience. It wasn't an interactive website. It was a, a new media that a lot of us are, are not really that familiar with yet. Um, and we also wanted to lead with trials. And it's a general subscription philosophy. You try to get people in, you try to get subscribers. Try to get them testing it out, and then you try to move them down the food chain uh, into paid, long-term subscribers. Um, in publishing, you know, churn is just the same as it is in the online subscription for, uh, you know, software services program. There's a lot of the same rules when we look at online and how we measure that online, how we drive people through the process, behavioral targeting, behavioral messaging. We wanted us to first start cleaning up the look and the feel of where it's going. What this leads us into, and you're seeing some early wireframes, and this is not what it'll look like when it's launched in 21 days, but uh, we're starting now to separate out content. We're starting now to show what the magazine is about. We're starting now to explain some of the benefits. We're working on the copy. What does it even say when you see this page? I mean, someone in about four seconds or less needs to know what this is, why it's different, and how they're going to interact with it. 
Um, we're not going to capture it forever, especially if it's coming from a press release or a search engine uh, site. Most people from search engines aren't going to come to your homepage, the first result. Uh, they're going to be buried in content. So you need to make sure that message uh, continues down throughout. And I'll show you how that works in some early ideas. Um, and making sure we're always focusing on what's web, what's print. Uh, and it's a challenge. So it's something that we've wrestled with every week since we started this project. And I don't think anyone from 20 other publishers that we work with have figured it out either. So everyone's fighting the same battles as everyone else right now. A lot of things we're doing is we're building community around this. Uh, we're helping people figure out how they can participate. And you saw great things like you can highlight articles, you can make notes in articles, but what if you want to talk about articles? What if there's something that we can build a community out? What if there's a, one of the yoga poses you saw? There's a way in which people want to talk about different ones they know or some other tips or tricks. Uh, we want people to be able to share and create community and content. It's, it's focused on the editorial content of the digital magazine. Uh, we want to use everything to reinforce the value of the digital magazine. We're also using web exclusive content. So someone said in the earlier presentation, well, the blogs had it first. Well, you better bet we're going to have blogs already built in this entire site uh, for a lot of different reasons besides just having content that's new every day. You can't, and it's hard for a magazine uh, to live in a web world when there's only new content once a, once a week or once a month or once every two months. Uh, we need to be producing content, like an editorial, you know, editorial content every day online. Um, and that's a challenge in, in working with a publisher uh, to help them understand the process and the content strategy around that. Other things we're looking to do is remove exclusive subscriber content. And I've seen some plays of this of magazines that we've subscribed to. If you, and I believe in print. I should probably hammer that home. Every night when I get home, there's, or when I leave the office, there's a stack of magazines next to my door um, that I take home to read. I grew up in a very print heavy reading family and it's still in my blood. So I haven't abandoned print, but I haven't, you know, I'm deep in the web. I'm reading news on my mobile device. I'm, you know, following in Twitter. I mean, every of those little tools you find out there, we're interacting with because um, we're trying to learn them just as much as everybody else. Things in here we're building, you know, exclusive advertiser programs into the website. Uh, it's not, it's not a trick, it's something that should be done and supported, but it should also tie directly back into the magazine as well. And it should have some relevance of the content that's in the digital publication. So when you write in a digital publication, it's in Hammer at Home on the website, and it's pulled together in relevant areas. With the website, as well as with the magazine, um, as, as it, the next revs come out, behavioral targeting is going to be available. You're going to be able to serve ads up against profiles of people of what types of content they read. So we're going to be very happy to, to launch that and deploy those in there. We'll leave it there. So a quick question. In the print business, you saw a lot of um, magazines start or in the service field. And certainly online, the initial well, content aimed at women was service-based. With the, the rise of the glam, certainly the products we consider Interesting, we launched a site for a company called Delivery Agent in San Francisco that does, it's called CNOM.com, and they're the e-commerce backbone provider for Fox and NBC and ABC and a bunch of other shows. So you saw in Desperate Housewives, Susan wore a certain shirt. You can go to CNOM.com and find out exactly where that was and buy it. When we launched CNOM, Delivery Agent with Martha Stewart was let out of a prison. She wore a shawl. That was on CNOM. Uh, there were two and a half million dollars in shawl sales through that because that was the only place it was at for sale on there. To launch that site, go back to what you said blogs, we had a year lapse between the site we were ready to launch with all the e-commerce in it and building up a presence and a trust presence and a community presence. We launched the entire site a year ahead of the blog. And we give a place where we can learn about more about what women are interested in what women are looking for, comments they make on it, how they go through the websites, what types of content and certain keywords are searching for. And that allowed us also to build the content strategy around for an editorial team of how to write content for the web. So it does help. Thank you.